in this video I'll be showing you how to download from Usenet using the SAB NZBD news downloader. Well, I'll start with getting SAB NZBD working. Now for Linux users you just need to do this one little bit before we can begin. So I've already installed SAB via the Ubuntu Software Center. I expect you can find it in a lot of the repositories for all the various Linux distributions. So what we need to do is just do sudo nano etsy default sab nzbd plus. What we need to change is your username, so your login name. So for me it's quid. Config leave blank host is 0.0.0.0 .0 and port, well default I believe for sab is 80, 81. So I'll just leave it as that. So control x, save, yes, enter. Now I'm going to do sudo service sub nzbd start. There it is. Now if I go on to the web browser, now I'll go and open up sab. So this applies to both Linux and Windows users now. So local host and it's 8081, colon 8081. And there we go, I've got the SAB NZBD setup wizard. Yeah, choose the language, then go start wizard. Now it's asking for the host, host details for your Usenet provider. So let's just stop that, we'll minimise it. So now we'll choose a Usenet provider. The one that I use is AstroWeb, I find them very good. The speed is flat out on my broadband speed, and price is very reasonable. There's another one. I've heard good things about, and that's Giga News. It's a bit more expensive than AstroWeb, but you get this Viper personal VPN service. So, if you're after a VPN, then perhaps this one's the better one to go for. It could work out a bit cheaper. But as I said, I'm using AstroWeb. So, these are the details you need. So, when you get through the sign up process, it will show you these at the end. Then you've got the various different servers to use. Now, what we're going to go for is a secure server. Use the one nearest you, so for me that's the European server. So you've got a choice of European or American server. I'm just going to open up SAB. Now I'm going to be lazy and just go across to the virtual machine this way. Here we are, I've got the same setup wizard. So start wizard, English or American there. Host. Put your host details there. Port is 443. You can read that there, port 443. Username, just pop in your username details. The connections, if we go back to the Astral Web, the connections we can see here, maximum connection 20. Now I've got 40 megabit broadband and I don't need all 20 connections. I can get by with 15. I could probably go lower than that. The way it will work is the faster your broadband speed, the more connections you can put on. It's a bit overkill if you've only got a low amount of bandwidth to put a high number of connections. So as I said, 15 is absolutely fine for my 40 megabit speed. The last one, just need to tick the SSL and then test the server. As you can see, connection successful. If it's gone wrong here, you just go through and check if you've got everything right. So host, port number, username, password and then go for it, try it again. So go to next. Uh, yeah, I want it to be viewable on any PC on my network. I'm not worried about protecting it with username and password. I don't use either of these searches here, so I'll ignore that. And that's it. Click next, it restarts SAB. So setup is now complete. Go to SAB, and that is it. Now I need to feed in some .nzb files. This, this is a site I use for searching for NZB, called nzb.su. So let's go and choose something. Uh, keep it simple, I'll just go on to audio, because those files are fairly small. Um, oh, what the heck, we just go for this one here. Now I want the .nzb file, so i just click on that. Save the file. I'll go back across to SAB. Add NZB, browse, a download folder, and there's a the file there. So open, upload, close it. 
Oh, it says there's not enough free space. But it's going to download anyway. I don't know why that could be an issue with the virtual machine. Let's go back across to that system. Open the home folder. Download. Complete. And there's the file that I've just downloaded. Right, so that is how to set up SAP NZBD with connecting to AstralWeb for downloading and using the nzb.su website for searching for NZB files. So my actual system that I'm using, so that is SAP NZBD running. As you can see, I've downloaded quite a bit. So I've had it running for about was it two months now. I've sort of lost track, actually. Uh, yeah, quite a lot downloaded. And all the folders stored here so that's network storage uh, it's got six terabytes usable got everything in folders so TV programs and movies also running on system is sickbeard PVR box and the other one is couch potato for downloading movies so there's an awful lot you can do with Usenet and various different components you can add onto it. So I've just shown you the basics there, but uh, yeah, there's quite a lot more you can do to it. Right, thanks for watching. See you later.